Hey there, it's Mike here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a video called Stupidly Easy $20,000 a Month Google Copy-Paste Method for Beginners to Make Money Online from a channel called Dave Nick. Now, this video already has over a 1,000 likes, uh, has over 29,000 views on it, so let's take a look at what this is all about. I'm going to go ahead and give him a like here. If you guys can like this video as well, it really helps out with my YouTube channel, and I appreciate it so, so, so much. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump into it. And as you can see, I currently have about $6,500 in my unpaid earnings and it's kind of embarrassing how easy this method is because you don't necessarily have to do any of the work yourself. You don't have to build your own website. You don't need your own product or service and you don't need any social media followers. This, this is what people want, right? This is what they always see on all these sales pages and sales videos and stuff. It's always like no work, no website, no email list, no videos, no nothing. So, I mean... <laughs> I don't believe that you can really build a business like that. So, so this is a perfect method for someone who's just starting out and just wants to make some extra money online. And everything that they manage... $20,000 a month though is not extra money online. That's like life-changing income. So he's got big claims here about $20,000 a month. If, if I could make an extra like... $300 a month. Uh, it might be worth it if it's not going to take too much time. Mentioned in the step by step tutorial will be linked in the description box down below. Anyways, let us begin with a step number one, which is to open up GoCharlie or the GoCharlie.ai. So this is a never heard of this one, GoCharlie. I've learned so many different tools. Every time I do these videos, I learn new stuff. Tool, they will create content for you. They will write it from blog posts, they will write social media posts, they will write ads, they can do copywriting for you, content repurposing, they can generate images and art and much more. So they do have about 50 different features inside of one single GoCharlie account. Now, you don't necessarily want to spend any money on GoCharlie. What you want to do is you just want to sign up for free. You want to create an account. So just click on try for free now and you want to create an account. And by the way, I was showing you the earnings from my affiliate. So as you can see, as an affiliate for GoCharlie, I personally made... Oh, wow. Okay. So he's he's selling this as an affiliate. He's made $9,500. He gets a 30% commission for each uh, and that's reoccurring. So that's really nice. Uh, but he obviously has a big YouTube channel. It over $6,500 and you will see exactly why this is important for the method that we're going to use later on. But anyways, you want to go back to GoCharlie and you want to sign into your account. And as you sign into your account, you're going to be able to see all of these different features that someone can utilize once they sign up for GoCharlie. As I said, they can create different blog posts, articles, they can do social media, they can create social media posts, YouTube descriptions, relevant hashtags. They have a lot of different tools at their disposal with GoCharlie. But what is the most important part is writing tricks a section to the left side and then blog wizard because if you go to blog wizard essentially you can get an entire blog post generated for you full with different SEO keywords which are going to help you rank and that's extremely important but anyways you're just gonna it's amazing what these things will just do for you now and um, I don't know what the quality is of them but you can get a lot of just stuff that people would pay manually people in like the Philippines and India to do for you. Uh, now you can get it done by AI. Leave this like that. You just want to sign into your GoCharlie account and you want to proceed to the next step, which is to go over to Google and search for different businesses around the world. Now these local businesses can be literally any, anything. So for example, it can be a coffee shop in Bali. It can be a cookie shop in Thailand. It can be a barber shop in New York. It can be a gym in Bulgaria. It can be literally any business in any city around or any city or country around the world. I'm wondering if he's actually done any of this. That's my big question on all these videos where you have people training on stuff like this because essentially he's training. Like, has he actually done this himself? Let's find out through the rest of the video. So in this case, just as a most basic example, I've searched for a barber shop in New York. But what I'm interested in is opening up all of these local businesses and then trying now to find their contact details. So for example, if you open up these websites for local businesses, in most of the cases, they do have their contact details at the bottom of the website. It's either going to say contact or they're going to leave their email address directly. If it says contact, all you can do is pretty much just right click on this and you can copy the email address from that website. So you literally just right click copy the email address and you can actually email those local businesses as you can see i imagine a lot of people check those emails because i mean if you've got a contact on there the likelihood that you'd want people to be able to contact you about your business whether there's like a, some kind of an opportunity for your business is pretty high here i have an email from that local business from that barber shop in new york but now once you know that the next step that you got to complete is you want to go over to partner stack and partner stack is a marketplace for thousands of different software companies which you can promote as affiliate now, the reason you can promote software companies, the reason I recommend promoting software companies, because first of all, those are digital products, so there is no limit to how much you can sell and to how much 
money you can make. And because these are software companies, they are usually appealing to businesses. They help businesses grow. And also, they pay you reoccurring monthly commissions. So if you refer someone to Dave, as long as they keep on paying for that software, you will keep on making money. You will keep on making passive income. Reoccurring monthly commissions from software. I make a lot of it. Uh, it's amazing because people buy these tools and they need them for their business. It's just a business write-off for them and they will keep on paying for months and months, if not years. So I agree with them on that. So what you want to do is you want to click on the marketplace over here. You want to click on explore the marketplace and there you can find a lot of different companies that you can promote. And as you can see, for example, this one pays you $80 per referred customer, but some of them pay you 10% in reoccurring commissions, 15% reoccurring commissions, 20% from every sale made 30% of reoccurring revenue with this with this software over here. And so these are only probably the best ones just to kind of interject or autoresponders and hosting. If you can get an autoresponder or hosting that's going to be paying you monthly for a lifetime of that customer that's going they're going to be there. I mean, you can have people paying for something like AWeber or GetResponse for 10 years or more. I mean, it's pe people don't cancel that stuff easily. Different software that businesses can use to get more customers and clients and just overall grow their business. And as long as they keep on using them, you're gonna keep on making money. So if they pay you 30% and let's say a business pays $100 a month to grow their business with that software, you'll be making $30 a month from that one single nice. business, which may not seem like a lot, but it does. That seems like a lot to me. It, he says it doesn't seem like a lot. And I, if, I want you to make sure if you're watching this now, to change your mindset and and see the fact that that thirty dollars. I mean, you get one of those, it's thirty bucks, and I know it's not a lot of money. You get ten of them, that's three hundred dollars a month. I mean, that can literally change the way that you are running your business online. It can give you extra money to invest in stuff. It can make it so that you're not quite in a situation where you're as desperate as a lot of people are when they're first getting started. So it's, I think it's a lot. Let's quickly add up because I'm going to show you how to refer thousands of people with Google. So what you want to do is you just want to find some software to promote. It can be literally anything that you think would be beneficial to some business. So I'm going to use this one as an example. It's called Send in Blue. It's an email marketing software. So it helps, it helps businesses automate their emails and obviously grow their business. I don't think that one's a reoccurring though. With email marketing and I'm going to be paid $5 per new account. So $5 per free trial plus an additional $100 per new paying client. So okay, once you so find a software time. that you want to promote, you just click on apply to program and you sign up for their affiliate program. Now, once you apply for someone's affiliate program and once they accept you, you're going to be able to log into your partner's stack account and you can right away just copy your affiliate link. I'm just using this one as an example, but that's how it will look like if I've signed up for Sending Blue affiliate program. Now, the next step you're going to complete is you want to go over to Synthesis. You want to install this Google Chrome extension called Synthesis X. And this is a tool that will allow you to turn any Google image into an original copy copyright free image, according to them. As you can see, Synthesis allows you to easily create your own versions of any image you find online right in your browser, no need to log in, and you also have the full right. So according to them, I wonder how that works. Like, do they change it enough to make it original? You will own all the rights to your finished creation so you can confidently share it and have no trouble or whatsoever. So you just want to add that to Chrome. And once you add that to Chrome, you can go to Google and search for keywords related to the software that you're promoting. So if you're promoting a social media engagement or social media management software, you will search for social media management. If you're promoting an email marketing software, you can search for email marketing. If you're promoting a software that helps them rank higher on Google, then you can search for SEO and ranking on Google or whatever. And then you just want to open up any of these Google images and you want to turn them into original content. And the way you turn them into original content is you just right click after installing Synthesis X, you will see this revisualize this image. So now you can just click on that and now Synthesis will create an original yeah, version of this image using AI. So you're going to have original content that you can use without having I'm really any curious issues. What so like. in, it's, in some cases it may not look. Oh yeah, it's, it's similar, but it's different enough I mean, it's very different, <laughs> but it's dif different enough that you could use this and not get in trouble. Per perfect. I personally like this one, so I'm going to install this one. But if you don't like them, you just click on try again because it's free and you can generate unlimited images again and again until you create something that you are proud of and you like and you want to use. Oh, so if you like cool. this one, you just click on the that download works. button and it's going to be onto your computer. Now, the next step you're going to complete is you want to go back to GoCharlie and you want to create a blog post about that particular topic. For example, in this case, it's going to be email marketing. So I can create a blog post about how to grow your business with email marketing. And then I can enter a tone. In this case, the tone is going to be professional or even mm. informative. Then the target audience are going to be local businesses and entrepreneurs. And I can also enter SEO keywords as well. In this case, I'm just going to type in business and also email marketing. And then I'm going to click on fetch blog topics. And now this doggy is going to fetch the, top, the, the blog topics. And I'm going to choose which title I like the most. And based on the title that I select, as you can see we have a couple of 
This is stuff that you used to pay people on Fiverr to do. This is pretty cool. Of them, they're gonna generate an outline, and once they generate an outline, we're gonna generate a full blog post that we can then use to get clients from Google to actually sign up th through our referral link for one of those software. And you can essentially use the same method for literally any software that you wanna promote as an affiliate. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So now you can just click on Fetch Blog, and we will now have a full blog post that we can use full of different keywords. And it's also original content that is, that is being written by this AI bot over here called Go Charlie. So here we have this entire blog post that I can now copy with one click of a button. So I can just click on copy and it's gonna be copied to clipboard. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to medium.com before you go back to Google. I will show you what we need to do on Google, but- I, I don't know about that. Like, you gotta be, I don't know if, is medium.com gonna start cracking down on this kind of content? Uh, are they gonna be able, be able to detect that it's created by AI? That's gonna be the big battle between these kind of websites that are allowing people to publish online and whether or not it's created by AI. You're gonna see a lot of back and forth about that. Well, now you wanna to go to medium.com, which is a platform where people come to share different articles and blog posts and different stories. And then you wanna click on write after signing up for free. And you wanna paste your blog post right over here. And then I'm gonna take this title and I'm gonna remove it from here, but I'm gonna add that title right somewhere around here. So this is how my title is gonna look like. And this is the entire blog post. Now between these lines, I'm simply gonna say and create a call to action for that software that I'm promoting. Click here to try the best email marketing software for free. And then I'm just gonna highlight this text, I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to insert my affiliate link. So let's say for you. Uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to link out on Medium or not to affiliate links. You might get in trouble for that. Let me know. Example, this is my affiliate link and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to basically add the same call to action between multiple sections to make sure that while someone is reading this, they will see my call to action. They will see my affiliate link and sign up for this software. And my problem so far is that I would want to see him go, okay, and here's my medium account and here's the traffic that I've gotten from it. And you know what I mean? Like I want to see some actual results. So far, this looks very theoretical to me. And now most importantly, we can also add that image, which was created for us with synthesis. You want to click on add image and then you want to click on publish this blog post and you can also enter a topic right over here. So the topic in this case is going to be email marketing and also business perhaps. And then I'm going to publish this now to medium.com. This is how my post is going to look like. And what I can do next is I can copy this blog post link. So I can copy the link that takes people to this blog post that talks about how to grow your business with email marketing. And then they can read about this. So they basically have all the useful information right over here, which convinces them why. I don't know if it's necessarily so useful. I, mean, I don't know how useful AI content really is. Email marketing is important and they also have a link to try the best email marketing software for free. So they will most likely do that. And when they sign up, I will make money as an affiliate. So now what we got to do is we got to, of course, you can get a lot of traffic from Medium as well, because Medium is a platform that's getting millions of views and it also ranks extremely high on Google and your blog post is full of keywords. So you can obviously get a lot of traffic from Google as well. But in order to get more traffic, what you can do is you can simply go back to Google and once again, you search for local business around the world, you extract their email addresses and then you can just email them and tell them about this blog post. You can explain to them that email marketing is important and they can read this article to learn more about how to people are going to mark that as spam. I don't know. Uh, it's not, it, it's kind of, it sounds like spam. Like it's not like you are, I, I know there's different laws around the world for cold email outreach. And then most of the time you have to be very specific to that business and it has to be uh, you, I mean, you, you can go and look at the, the laws for in your area, but just be careful with that. Or do email marketing or how to grow their business with email marketing. And you're not even really selling anything. So you're not going to be spammy. You're not going to try to sell them. It doesn't matter if you're selling or not. If you're just mailing people, you're, it, it can be spam, even if you're not selling. Right away with a first email, but you're providing some value first and you're sending them to a free article. It's going to teach them how they can grow their business and get more customers with either email marketing or whatever the software that you're promoting is about. Once again, it can be a software about SEO and ranking. It can be a software for social media management. It can be a management software in general. It can be literally anything that might potentially benefit their business. And you can explain to them via short email, send it out to those local businesses and link them back to your medium article so they can read that and potentially sign up for one of those software through your referral link. And as I said, just by posting an article on medium.com, you'd still stand a chance to get people to sign up through that software through your link. If medium doesn't remove it, I wonder if they're going to remove it. Because there's obviously a lot of traffic on medium.com and a lot of people can organically find your blog post, your article over here. They can read it because it's valuable and unique and they might potentially click on this and might potentially sign up to that referral program that you're promoting. 
and there's obviously thousands of different software Maybe. companies that you can find in partner stack and promote in a similar the same way so i went over to uh, medium really quick and i wanted to see if this article is still here and it's still here it's not removed so as far as this working or not the article's still here i don't know if we can get any stats on it it doesn't really tell us how many people have watched or how many people have looked at this but it's sticking there i mean it's he's got his link to the affiliate offer if i click on it huh but you know what this is kind of interesting when i click on it is it just taking me over to the is it a non affiliate link that might be kind of interesting is that an affiliate link or maybe it is i don't know it's taking me over there directly to that link but but yeah i mean it's it's sticking there so it could potentially be an offer that works so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video today let me know what you think in the comments below i'm always interested in hearing if you've tried any of these methods uh, if you've gotten anything to work if you have any tips for us to make any of these things work uh, everyone is, is going to appreciate it and i appreciate it as well also please like this video it really helps out on the youtube channel and i appreciate it and hit that subscribe button and bell notification as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you again in my next video thanks